everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a what's in my makeup bag video. Um, obvious thing first, um, I've obviously dyed my hair again. Um, I've bleached the whole thing again. It's still um, slightly yellower than I want it, so I'm going to tone it again. And once I've done that, then I will do um, another video about my hair. Um, if you want to see um, the video I've already done um, about going blonde at home, then that's on my channel. And I talk about what I did and what I used and everything. Um, but I actually used something different this time. So I will film another video um, once it's all toned and everything. So the makeup bag that I'm using at the minute is this Zoella one. Um, I bought this last year when she first came out with her own line of products and everything. It's just a really, really good size. And I like that it's kind of plasticky, uh, which just means it just doesn't get as damaged and everything. I generally have this out on my um, dressing table. I don't really take it out that much. Um, but sometimes I do if I know I'm going to have a long day. Uh, but usually I just pop a powder and a lipstick in my handbag and that's usually enough. But I thought I would take you through what's in my makeup bag. So I will start on the top. And I will try and do them in categories. Um, but some stuff will have moved around in here. Um, the other thing is there aren't any um, brushes in here. Because I have those all in a pot on my um, dressing table. And if you want to see my makeup collection, um, I show you how I store everything in that video. So um, I'll start with lipsticks and stuff. So the first thing is an EOS lip balm. This is the vanilla mint one. I've also got the coconut one. One stays in my handbag, one stays um, in my bedroom. These are just really, really good lip balms. I like that these are so hygienic because you don't have to dip your finger in a pot. And they're just really, really moisturizing and smells really nice. Um, lip pencils, I have three. So the first one I have um, is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. This is probably my most used lip liner. Um, it goes with pretty much any lipstick and it's just really, really good. I also have a brown one from Kiko, which is in the colour 300, um, which is sort of that brown lip. It looks really, really nice alone and you can also wear it with a lipstick. And the third one is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Bettina, which is what I've got on my lips today. This is kind of like a lipstick and a liner in one. I really, really like this and I like the colour as well. It's quite neutral, it's quite light, but I really, really like it. The lipsticks I've got in here... Uh, MAC Velvet Teddy, which I'm sure you all know what that looks like, and Tom Ford Nude Vanille, which is the very, very pale sort of nudie pink colour that I wear quite a lot. Um, I do change my lipsticks all the time, but those are the three that I've kind of been using most recently um, that I've got in here, but I do um, go in the drawers quite often and get different ones out. Um, onto base products now. The first one is the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. This is really, really good if you've got sort of serious under eye bags, you can tell mine's like really, really used, or um, quite big blemishes or red spots. Um, these are really, really good for that. They are quite creamy and quite thick, um, so if you're going for a minimal makeup look, then I don't reach for these, but if I'm going for something more coverage or something to last all day, then I will use these. I always apply that concealer under foundation because I find it's too heavy for on top of it. But it is a really, really good product, especially if you've got quite a lot to cover up. Second thing is my base products and um, I also have the Laura Mercier primer which is not in here, it's it's out but um, that, that would be in here as well. And the first thing is the Origins Vita Zing BB Cream. Um, I bought this at the Cosmetics Outlet because they didn't have Vita Zing moisturiser in stock anywhere and I got this in the shade Light Cool and I think I actually prefer this to the moisturiser. It still gives you that moisturisation that the, the moisturiser gives but it also gives you a little bit more coverage. Um, if you don't know what Vicing is, it's like a tinted moisturiser, there's very, very sheer tint in it. Um, this has more coverage in it, but it still leaves my skin really feeling really, really soft. My skin has felt quite tight recently, um, I think because it's gone quite colder. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this. Um, so I don't know if they sell it in the mainline stores, but um, I definitely have a look for it. I'll try and link some online um, in the description box below, I'll try and link everything I mention. And the other product is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Mattifying Infallible Foundation in Porcelain. I'm sure you've heard about this before. It's really, really, really popular. I mix this with my BB cream because I find this on its own is, it doesn't sit right on my skin. I think it's too matte, um, but I don't like dewy foundation. So I, I like to mix this with the BB cream and I generally get like a medium coverage um, foundation that works really, really well for my skin. Um, in the summer I was mixing this with NARS Sheer Glow, but that's way too dark for me now. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really good foundation. It's really cheap as well. powder I'm currently using is the L'Oreal Nude Magique BB Powder. This is really, really good. Um, it's not quite as good as the Bourjois one that um, I was using before. 
and I've already bought a replacement and I've bought the bourgeois one but this one is really really good as well. Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, this is what I used to do my contour, mine is like so used um, but yeah I've been using this for over a year now and I have hit pan on the bronze on the highlighter side rather um, but there's still loads of product left in there and this is probably the best sort of bronze and highlighter duo that I found. It is super expensive but as I've been saying I've used that for over a year and I've still got loads left. And the next thing is something I've got really really back into recently and it's my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I sort of fell out with this because I, I didn't really know how to use it and I started using the middle shade to set my under eyes and um, this, these two shades highlight and this one sometimes I use like a blush and it's really really nice for every day, it makes your skin look really really glowy and really really healthy um, but it's not glittery, um, a lot of highlighters are very glittery, these aren't um, and now I've had to play around with it and I know better how to use it, I'm obsessed with this I also use these colours on my eyes, um, I should have said actually everything that's in this bag is what I've got on my face today um, so I've got these on my eyes today and they work really really nicely as eyeshadows just for every day um, and I really really like that and also from Hourglass is the blush palette so it's the same as that but just the blush version really um, I tend to use this colour the most but um, I do mix and match depending on what else I'm wearing um, Hourglass I have seen that they're bringing out like a six palette thing for Christmas that I'm so excited for as soon as that comes out I'm going to have to buy it because it just looks absolutely amazing and it's got one of their bronzers in which I really want to try um, but yeah, if you haven't tried any of the Hourglass powders, I would definitely recommend having a look at those palettes in Space Link here somewhere. There's two concealers, uh, Maybelline Eraser Eye, I've talked about this loads before, really really good. And the 17 Stay Time Up to 18 Hour Concealer, Full Cover Flawless Finish, um, this is in the shade Extra Fair, um, which is a really really good shade if you're very pale like me. Um, I prefer this to the collection one, it's not as heavy duty. Um, but I find the collection one is really really drying, uh, this one is less drying than that, it's still quite drying for a concealer, it's, it's definitely a blemish concealer um, but it doesn't give you that sort of cakey look I really don't like. And the last products are all eye and brow products, the first thing is my NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base, nothing else will hold my shadows and cream shadows on all day like this does. Um, I just repurchase it all the time, it is expensive but it does last quite a while don't need very much of it and it just works better than anything else I've ever tried. Next is my eyeliner, this is the Maybelline um, Black Gel Liner, this is the best eyeliner I've found, um, it just comes in a pot, I apply it with an angled brush from Eco Tools, which I find the easiest way to do my eyeliner, I get a lot of compliments, a lot of questions about my eyeliner um, and it's usually when I've used this. I find it a lot easier than a pen, I think you've got much more control when you do it with an angled brush and it also makes doing the flick um, quite a lot easier I think. Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, this is like really run out, I need to get a new one but um, this is just really good for bottom lashes, I find everything else smudges on the bottom lashes but that doesn't. Um, main mascara is the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, I got this when I subscribed to Grazia Magazine, I've just opened it, it is a really really good mascara, it's not my favourite mascara but it is really really good, um, I like quite a clumpy lash and I find I need to put three coats of this on, uh, but that's just me. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Bedroom Black Eyeliner. This is what I use on my upper waterline. It makes such a difference to making your lashes look really thick. Um, the girl at Charlotte Tilbury on the counter actually showed me um, using this when I bought it. Um, I hadn't gone in for this, I'd gone in for something else. Um, but I've used it every day since and it does make a huge difference. If I forget to put it on I can really really tell. And once you get used to it, it doesn't feel so weird. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that. And it's really, really black, that one. It stays all day, I don't have to touch it up. Um, brow products are both from Maybelline. Both all quite worn off. Um, the first one is the, I think this is the Brow Satin. It's, it's rubbed off. But it's the one with the sort of pencil bit at one end. And then like a weird powder smudgy thing at the other end. I don't use that end, I just use the pencil end. Um, every time I use it you get all black off it, I don't know why it's all coming off but I just use a pencil and it's really really good, um, I only put a bit of it on and then I always use the brow drama to set my brows um, this one is quite old now, I need to get my new one out but when it's quite new I find I don't need to use the pencil um, as it gets older I do put a little bit of pencil in with it but it's just a tinted brow mascara it doesn't look like that drawn on look 
but it does fill in your brows and make them look a bit fuller than they are naturally sorry I had a hair in my eye so that's everything that's in my everyday makeup bag obviously I do have a lot more makeup you can see that in my makeup collection and I do switch it all out quite regularly as well so um, that's just what I've been using over the past kind of month or so um, and enjoying so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one Bye.